third root of 64 r to the power minus 6 all to the power 1 over 2. So simplify this using or combining the different laws of indices. So how do you get that done? First things first, I would focus on the term in the bracket. That means I'll just focus on this 64 r to the power minus 6 all to the power 1 over 2. For now, focus on this. So what do you have here? Uh, we looked at what is called the product power law. All right. Where in this case here, we said for a case like this, where I have different terms all being raised to a power, we said this power can affect each of the terms here. All right. This is equal to from here, half will be affecting 64. So it becomes 64 to the power 1 over 2, multiplying this one here, r to the power minus 6, all to the power 1 over 2. So in a case where I have different terms, all right, all to power, all to, all raised to a certain power, this power here can affect all of the terms. So in this case, it becomes this to this, which is this, and then this to this, which is this. All right, so what I choose to write the half inside the bracket or outside, um, similarly are the same thing. So this is equal to, now what this one means here, of course, this to the power 1 over 2 means the square root. So I'm having the square root of 64 multiplying this one here. This now becomes.